This is the third in a series of videos about binary. I'm going to talk about how we can represent real numbers, that is, non-integers, using fixed-point binary notation. Most modern computers use floating-point binary to represent real numbers, something I'll talk about in a different video. Nevertheless, fixed-point binary has a wide range of applications, for example, in real-time systems, where the speed of calculations is more important than accuracy. Also, an understanding of fixed-point binary first is an essential step in understanding floating-point binary later. Imagine a processor with a 12-bit register for storing binary numbers. Some of this register, for example the first 8 bits, could be used to represent the whole number portion of a real number. And some of it, in this example, the last 4 bits, could be used to represent the fractional part of the real number. In base 10, we use a decimal point to indicate where the fractional part of a number begins. In this register, we can use an imaginary binary point. It should be stressed that the notional position of this binary point was decided by the designers of this particular computing device. It was fixed in position and can't be moved. This particular processor always represents numbers with 8 bits before the binary point and 4 bits after it. To convert this fixed point binary number into denary, we can use a familiar gadget. But notice this time that the place values decrease in powers of 2 after the binary point. Conversion is as simple as adding up the place values. Typically, we express the denary value as a decimal fraction. Here's another example, but let's convert the headings of these place values from vulgar fractions into decimal fractions to make the calculations easier. You can see it's a positive number straight away, because the negative place value has a zero underneath it. When we add up the place values, we have 107.625 this time. Here's an example of a negative number. You might prefer to use a calculator to work this one out. Minus 89.25. Here are a few conversions you can do yourself. It's the same processor as before, a 12-bit register with 8 bits before the binary point and 4 bits after it. If you want to give these a go, pause the video now and I'll show you the solutions in a moment. And here are the solutions. Here's a few more, this time converting from denary to binary. You might find these easier to do with a calculator. Pause now to give them a go and you can continue on to the solutions when you're ready. And here are the solutions. Let's quickly consider some special cases to finish off with. This time we have a 4-bit register with 1 bit before the fixed binary point and 3 bits after it. Of course, there's probably no such processor, but it's the principle that matters here. The largest possible positive number that can be represented is 0.875. Notice that we have a 1 under every place value except the negative place value. The smallest possible positive number that can be represented, not including 0, is 0.125. Again, we avoid the negative place value, but we place a 1 underneath 0.125. The smallest magnitude negative number that can be represented, in other words, the negative number closest to 0, is minus 0.125. This time we have a 1 under every place value. And finally, the largest magnitude negative number that can be represented is minus 1. To summarise then, fixed-point binary is used in digital signal processing 
This includes a wide range of real-time applications and even some games in which the performance is more important than accuracy. The binary point can be thought of as being in a fixed position within a fixed size register. This means that the processor has a simpler design and is therefore cheaper to produce. It also means that arithmetic operations are much simpler compared to floating point operations and therefore they're much faster to do. However, because the binary point is fixed within a fixed size register, the designer of the processor has to make a choice between range and precision. More bits before the binary point means larger values are possible, but this means there are less bits after the binary point, so range comes at the expense of accuracy. Increasing the number of bits after the point may allow for better precision, but this in turn limits the range. Finally, there are some real numbers that can never be represented accurately in binary, no matter how big the register is. Because the place values after the binary point decrease in powers of 2, we can never accurately represent, say, one-tenth, which we can in base 10. In fact, there's an infinite number of values that we can never represent with complete accuracy. But this problem is not something unique to binary. For example, in base 10 we can never accurately represent one-third. We would need an infinite number of decimal places to do this.